How's it going everyone? Welcome back and today we're going to talk about cannot delete or this item could not be removed because it doesn't exist. So if you have these problems right on your iPhone, then here's how to solve it. Now to solve your problem, the fresh work that you really want to do on your iPhone, you got to head over to set, you know, file application there. And now you got to just navigate to your file where you might want to delete the file from. So first of all, all you need to do guys, you just simply tap and hold the file that you want to delete and then you try to move to a different folder tap on move here and now uh, just try to uh, move to a different folder just to see if that works or not so, I mean if you move that file to a different folder all I want you guys to do is just simply tap and hold that folder and tap delete I mean the folder that you just you know move the file just delete the whole folder just to check if that's gone or not so let's say you just did it but still you are not being able to delete that file then the next thing you want to do is just open up the file application one more time here and then you can tap and hold the file and simply tap this option called new folder with item that means that item is going to be created with a new folder so simply tap and hold the folder again tap to it just to see if that works or not so these are the primary things you guys can do to solve your problem but it's still if that doesn't work uh last thing that you guys can do you can open, open up your app store and tap search and type documents okay uh, type documents and tap search here most likely you are going to be able to find out these applications so all i want you guys to do is just go ahead and open up this application on your iphone so i want you just install it and set this all up here you're going to be able to see this file application here as well select that and now find out the file now tap and hold the file and now tap on to simply tap delete and then the file is going to be deleted now lastly all you guys want to do open up your settings on iphone tap icloud and here uh, and here all you got to do you got to just tap on the drive application simply turn up the drive and turn it back on the drive Sometimes if there's a little problems with your iCloud drives that might have the same problem So you can simply turn off and turn it back on again from here to see if that works or not So after following all of the process, I can tell you guys your problem is going to be solved So if you guys have any more questions to ask, please let me know in the comment section. See you all around